afternoon and thank you for your time. My name is Lisa Klein. I'm an MCPS parent, child safety advocate, and I live in Gaithersburg. Um, before I start, I just want to thank you all for the very hard decisions you have had to make this past year um, regarding our safety. Um, and on that note, my testimony has to do with the safety of MCPS students and allocation of funds in the 2022 fiscal budget to test for an air quality issue that has gone largely ignored for 20 years, that is radio frequency emissions. There are 11 macro cell towers on MCPS campuses. 81% of them are at schools where at least one third of the students receive free and reduced meals. So blatantly, our poorer communities are disproportionately subject to the possible health risks of RF emissions. Does this bother anyone else? Well, in 2004, it bothered the planning board enough to write a mandatory referral letter um, written by the then planning board chair pertaining to the tower application at Northwood High School. And it said, and I quote, uh, that it would, it would approve the tower with a condition that a letter certifying that it operates within FCC standards is provided annually to MCPS, end quote. Last August, I began working with MCPS real estate lead Boyd Lawrence, who many of you know as also a tower committee member. Uh, Mr. Lawrence was unsuccessful getting any RF reports and directed me to file an MPIA request, which I did. The request yielded just three reports over a 20-year span. Not one tested for aggregate emissions, one misnamed Wheaton as Wharton, um, one only tested the perimeter of the school, and none measured inside the school where it matters most. RF radiation is a possible carcinogen, so is radon and lead. So let's talk for a minute about radon and lead. MCPS has been testing for radon since the late 80s on a five-year cycle, every two years where, th where there has been a problem. And then regarding lead, all schools must test every three years to be in compliance with EPA recommended levels of 20 parts per billion. But that wasn't good enough for many of you who then passed legislation to lower that action level to five parts per billion. Thank you for that. Let me underscore that there is no RF testing in our schools whatsoever. I hope you see the double standard here, appreciate the importance of the request, and will certainly allocate funding for annual RF testing at all of our cell tower hosting schools. Thank you very much.